Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dr. Webinar. Okay, I'm Vincent here. Let me just do a quick check on my phone. Okay. All right, I'm Vincent here. I will be your main host and translator for today. Okay, before we start, uh, I would like to do a sound check with everyone. If you can hear me well, can you type in 888? Thank you so much. 888, you can type if you can hear me well. Thank you. All right. Uh, all right, I'm so happy to see uh, so many of you today again. And thank you for uh, taking your time out to participate in the weekly session, you know, to enrich yourself. And uh, of course, if let's say you have invited your friend or prospects to the call, or please remind, send them a text reminder again, okay, so that you know, they don't miss out any uh, great information here we have today. As for those who wish to listen to Mandarin, all right, you may tune into the Mandarin session by clicking on the uh, interpretation button below. All right, I will be doing the translation after the introduction. Today, doctor will be discussing with everyone what is test-based nutrition. Most of us uh, would have uh, known that uh, the benefits of taking supplements. And actually, if you go out outside and see, you know, there, there are a lot of choices out there. You know, if you go to a shop outside or go online, you can see plenty of brands out there selling different kinds of products. But have you asked yourself, you know, which one actually really benefits you? You know, every brand, every product is saying that they have the best product. And, but only a few handful, com a few companies are actually able to prove that their products actually works. And I'm proud to say that, you know, Zinzino is one of the companies that offer tests to our customers. And of course, this test is actually one of the key drivers. Okay, this is the balance test I'm talking about. The test is actually one of the key drivers as to why Zinzino is growing rapidly worldwide. And in fact, over the past few months, uh, I have been speaking to plenty of prospects, plenty of um, potential partners out there, all right, from all walks of life. And I find that the balance test is extremely useful as this is something that the market does not have you know, up to date. So until today, uh, I did a check earlier, you know, before we start the session, we had done about, uh, we had done more than 700,000 tests and the numbers is just like growing every week. In the next couple of months, I'm very sure that we will reach 1 million tests and beyond. And for those who are joining us for the first time, welcome to the call. Okay, the Dr. Web weekly webinar is uh, designed for all our prospects and customers to understand the features of our products such as balanced oil better, you know. By the way, since you know, it's not only a test-based nutrition company, but we are also a public listed company that is based in Sweden. And we also have the world largest database in fatty acid tests. So Zinzino has been a tremendous success over the, uh, in Europe, all right, over the past years because of our balance oil and our balance test. And soon it will be even bigger with the Asian markets coming up. And before the end of the session, we will open up the field for some Q&As. This is a perfect opportunity for you to ask Dr. Abraham anything about health and products. So I'm sure over the past week, you know, we have been going out to the field and out there and you know, your customers would have asked you plenty of questions and you have encountered queries from customers, uh, you know. So the, get them ready, get this question ready, you know, so that uh, type in the chat box later during our Q&A segment. All right. And um, before we start, let me give you a short introduction of Dr. Abraham. Doctor is based in Malaysia. Okay, and has been in the medical field and worked in the hospital for more than 40 over years. So he is very experienced and has helped plenty of patients getting back their health. Even though he's a medical doctor, he truly believes in the holistic approach to keeping our body healthy. He's also now in the scientific advisory board for Zinzino, okay, and has been working closely with the rest of the board members to develop better products for you. All right, so without further ado, okay, let us give our warmest applause to welcome Dr. Abraham. Doctor, please. Thank you, uh, Minson. Um, great to see all of you here. Uh, we have had many sessions together. And this evening, I thought we'll touch on what do we mean by test-based nutrition? Now, Zinzino is a company is bringing in uh, products and we're trying to base it on tests so that products that you take can actually be tested whether they are in your body and working for you. Um, 
So what do we mean by test-based nutrition? All of us are quite familiar with what do we mean by tests when we fall sick? For example, blood tests, urine tests, and so on. But when it comes to nutrition, everybody is surprised that tests are available. Uh, unfortunately, the number of tests available are not widespread as in testing of uh, the blood or urine in disease. However, they have found methods to test for nutritional status, nutritional requirement, effectiveness of the nutrition that you take by various means, which have made it a little expensive, I would say. You may be surprised, but the very first test that started were actually in the 1930s. That's about 80 years ago. 80 years ago, there was a nutrition company that did regular blood tests to see whether the products that they were marketing actually gets into the body. Now, you may be uh, aware that many nutritional preparations don't get digested at all. They just come out in your stools. Some of them, they break up quite late. And so by that time, they are right down to the later part of the intestines, by which time most of the absorption capacity of the body is over. So there are many kinds of qualities and therefore testing seems to be important but because they are nutritional supplements, there is no official requirement by the government to prove that your products work. And of course, nutritional products cannot be tested easily for working. So the only way is to allow your body to use the nutrition and we check the body to see whether this nutrition or product has been useful for you. Okay, I mentioned blood tests. After that, they went on to urine tests. The belief was, if you take a certain vitamin or mineral or any nutritional product, and if we see large amounts in the urine, obviously the body is not using it. So urine tests were actually provided in such a way that if it was present in the urine in large amount, it shows your body did not use it or the quality of the product was such that the body could not process it. Next came hair analysis. Now the hair normally grows in an adult every month. I'm talking about male ladies have long hair and uh, this hair actually takes in the nutrition from the body and grows. So if it, once it grows away from the scalp, as it comes out of the scalp, the nutritional levels in the hair is fixed. So if you harvest this hair and analyze it, and look at the content, we can know the person has enough nutrition. And the second test may show whether the product that person is taking is present in the hair. Now, unfortunately, in hair, we couldn't do many tests. The main reliable test in the hair was minerals. Vitamins were not very well preserved because in the growth of the hair, the vitamin gets used up and you don't see much, but you do see minerals. Now, after years of testing, what they have done is hair analysis is now used to find out whether your body has been exposed to any heavy metal in the environment or food. And when I say heavy metal, usually heavy metals are toxic to the body. So there, it is now almost exclusively used for checking toxic heavy metals in the system. Like what? 
For example, if you live in town, almost all of us have too much lead in our body. And if you look at the smokers, they have too much cadmium in the body. This can, you can find this out by looking at uh, an analysis of the hair. Average laboratories don't do that. Special laboratories do that, okay? Now, the next level of testing, they were looking around and uh, somebody came up with the idea 20 years ago. 20 years ago, there was a major, you can say analysis being done about the human genetic print. They were trying to map all the genes in the body and it took a long time, but it was completed. It was, it was called the Human Genome Project. And everybody was hopeful that once we map the genes, we are now in a position to help people with illness and also to influence the genetic material in a very positive way. Now, that didn't turn out as expected. Excuse me. They found that uh, they could map the genome, and that's about it. Influencing the gene changes was a totally different uh, game altogether. But they did find out something. If you have a gene for something that is, let us say, height, Everybody has a pair of genes for each quality that we carry. Now, if we take height, we will have two genes. One, which will represent the taller people from your previous generation. And another gene for the shorter people from your previous generation. Now, which gene is going to work out in your body? We really don't know. But this project helped us to find out there is the, another set of, not to say genes, factors that influence these genes. And therefore, they call it epigenes. And this epigenes is influenced by nutrition, the food that we eat, the food that we absorb, and the food that the body can utilize. So if we have the right nutrition, you could come from a family of on shorter people, but you can actually grow taller because nutrition, good nutrition will favor the, the right pair of gene with regards to height and help you to grow taller. Studies, surveys show that an average Japanese today and don't be surprised, an average Japanese today is more than six inches taller than his grandparents. That's within a generation of two, uh, two generations. Nutrition has affected them so positively. And uh, this growth in height seems to have been more all over the body, but more in the thigh area. And they find that Compared to previous generations, the current generation, and this is the same pattern in the other races, the current generation finds it very difficult to squat like the older generation because the thighs are longer. Okay, uh, I don't know whether that's positive or negative, but the height is definitely a positive thing. And of course, the same thing is happening with IQ. Over the last two generations, the intelligence has improved in developing countries. So poor countries like uh, India, China, say about two generations ago, things were very difficult. Compared to them, the current generation enjoys an improve in IQ because of nutrition. You may not like to hear this, but in advanced Western countries, because they have switched to fast food over the last two generations, they have experienced a drop in IQ. I hope we don't get uh, off the good diet that we are supposed to be taking. And uh, even though we have fast food and stuff available, we still somehow enjoy our traditional diets, though a little bit varied. 
Okay. Now, what has this got to do with testing? Now, people felt that if you could get the genes mapped out and from that, you could maybe predict which nutrition was more suitable for you. Actually, the original idea was which medication will be more suitable. So they thought they could apply it in the nutritional side. And so this was sold as a test uh, to many people to identify which you would, you can say, grow better or come up in the right way, more healthy, more intelligent, and so on. Unfortunately, it didn't work out to that level. There were many attempts that were tried. In fact, one doctor did a study on blood group and nutrition. He, he has written about three or four books on that. And uh, there seems to be some basis, but somehow it cannot be specific. So at the end of the day, if you really want to check how nutrition has helped you, it looks like you need to test the tissues of the body to see what you have taken has been incorporated into the building of the cells and tissues. Now, we can't be going around poking our body and trying to get the cells. A good representation would be cells that circulate throughout our body and therefore has an influence on what the different tissues take away. And if these cells can be tested, it will be a fairly good representation. Uh, nobody can say 100% of anything in uh, human health, but it will be a good representation. And these are the red blood cells. Now, I mentioned 1930s when they started testing blood for nutritional levels. That test was done on the liquid part of the blood. Now, the liquid part of the blood changes every half an hour to one hour, maximum two hours. Like for example, take sugar. When we take a diet, just take the carbohydrate part, it breaks down into sugar. So our blood sugar levels rise, which uh, part of the blood, the liquid part. It keeps rising for approximately a maximum of one and a half to two hours. After that, it starts coming down because the cells are using up the sugar. And if the sugar cannot be used up, then it goes into storage. So the blood levels tend to come down. Now, testing the liquid blood part of the blood is such that you have to check it many times. Let's say vitamin A, you want to check the blood levels. It may be high after a meal of carrots or after taking a high dose of vitamin A supplement. But once it gets absorbed into the tissues, the blood levels might show a very low level. Okay, so that give us will give us some picture, but not a consistent picture. Ideal would be to test the cell itself, okay? Now, what Zinzino has set out to do is to try and develop tests, accurate tests, not just any test to be promoted, accurate tests to check, to see whether the supplement that you are taking will get incorporated into the cell. Fortunately, over the last 10 years, technology has improved to an extent where this can be done. And the first test that we have put out in the market is the dry blood spot test. And this is a specific test for your omega-3, omega-6 levels. These are long chain fatty acids, we can call them essential fatty acids because the body does not make it. You got to get it from the food. And this can be quite accurately measured because we are checking the levels in the cell membrane of the red blood cell, which circulates throughout the body. 
So no matter what your blood levels of omega are, the actual amount that goes into the structure of the cell is measured much better from the membrane. Okay, so this is the test that we have introduced because in the number of tests that they are looking at in the market, this seems to be the most reliable. Okay, at this stage, there are many things that can be tested from the red blood cell membrane and Zinzino is looking into the various tests to see if we can introduce more tests like that. The next test that will be coming out there in the final stages would be a test for vitamin D, vitamin D3 particularly, because that seems to be a very important vitamin during this period of pandemic all around the world. Uh, with the support of other nutrients, vitamin D seems to help to boost the immune system. By the way, vitamin D has uh, many other functions in the body and it is one of the few or the only vitamin which works like a hormone and a vitamin, okay? More of that in another talk. But this is the kind of approach Zinzino is taking so that we can test it out. Uh, we have, this is another area that uh, uh, doesn't sound very good, but Zinzino is looking at it. We haven't made any decision. We are looking at even testing the tools if necessary to see your uh, nutritional levels. How do we know that from the stools? What comes out in the stools is stuff that is not absorbed. So you take some supplement and if it doesn't, it is not found in the stools, obviously the body has used it up. Okay. So the test-based nutrition concept, though is old, the concept is very old, 80 years old, but due to improvement in technology, we are able to arrive at a situation for selected nutrients, we can give you very accurate results. Zinzino is actually leading the field by offering the test for omega-3-6 balance in your body. As Vincent mentioned earlier, uh, just about four or five months ago, it was half a million tests. Now it has exceeded 700,000. And this is the largest database uh, for fatty acid testing by the lab called VITAS. By the way, this lab is not owned by Zinzino. It's an independent private lab uh, serving many research institutions, universities, and also is on the panel of WHO. Uh, so they do the tests and they have this largest database and this further helps them to make the tests even more accurate. So Zinzino is on a path to really give you very accurate tests with regards to your nutrition. Um, I'm going to stop here and maybe uh, take some Q&A question and answers. <clears throat> There's a question. Can a patient who recently had a bypass take balance oil? Now, bypass surgery is a surgery for the heart because the circulation in the coronary vessels are poor. And so they harvest vessels from the legs or the arms or even on the chest wall to replace or bypass the blockage found in the original heart vessels. Now, it has been found that those who have coronary artery disease, heart problems, have a very poor omega-6-3 ratio. So when it comes to this, uh, there has, seems to have been no choice. It has come to a stage a bypass surgery had to be done. Never too late. This is the time to start right away. Don't wait as long as the patient is allowed to take back to eating normal food, he should start taking uh, omega-3 balance oil. My 
customer, elderly customer, got brain sound, especially at night. Uh, got sound, especially at night. Uh, it doesn't, it's not very clear, but I'm making a guess here. Probably the patient has tinnitus. Tinnitus is a sound they hear in the ear, a kind of a buzzing sound. And when everything around you gets quiet, that feels very loud. That's why it's at night. Now, this is more of an ENT problem. You should see an ENT doctor to see if there's anything going on. Meanwhile, now hearing, by the way, is through nerves. So if it is a nerve that has been affected, taking balance oil will support the body in healing. Velixir, will Velixir help? Yes, because Velixir has a very high antioxidant level. And that's very important when there is a breakdown of any nerve or organ or whatever. Okay. So, yes, both will help. Uh, can balance oil help with sleep or insomnia? No, it will not help you to sleep. Uh, but whatever treatment you are going to be taking to help you to sleep better, you will need an ingredient that supports your brain. And when it comes to that, balance oil will do the job. My customer has dry lip after taking balance oil. She stopped for two weeks and the condition improved. When resuming taking a condition came back, appeared again, okay. Uh, this is very unusual. Even for a dry skin, not only lips, dry skin, taking balance oil, which is omega-3, helps the skin to retain more moisture. Not in one week, two weeks, but within about three months' time, you will see an improvement in the skin. Now, I'm not sure why her lips are going dry. Sometimes there may be some skin or mucous membrane problem uh, my suggestion is check it out okay with your doctor to see if something else is going on now can balance oil help with preventing or improving high blood pressure and diabetes if you take it earlier in life and be careful it will help with blood pressure diabetes you need another set of stuff and the preventive measures, okay? Blood pressure doesn't depend on omega-6 and 3 alone. It also depends, uh, or rather your obesity, amount of body fat you have will influence it, amount of stress you have will influence it, but balance oil is one of the things that will help. My friend, 33 years old, does not take seafood because he's allergic and his balance test, wow, <laughs> 85.1. 85 85.1, I think you need to make a police report. <laughs> now, uh, yes, there are people who, even when they are not allergic, they don't seem to enjoy seafood, okay? And uh, this is, not or was not a problem one generation ago because our land animals were used to take an organic diet and they had omega-3 but today they are eating fast food also so <laughs> when we eat animals we don't get enough omega-3 now this person should be on balance oil right away okay because he is so far out don't go and overdose him Give him the normal serving. <laughs> Let the body build up because you may put in a lot, but the body will be able to use only a certain amount. Okay? So let it build up slowly. That is why we give 120 days because it takes about that much time to change all the red blood cells. 
when you need to go to the toilet, what are the causes? Wow. <laughs> That's a very big question. It could range anything from food allergy to sensitivity of the bowels. And this uh, uh, condition has to be arrived at by a doctor who is seeing you often so that he can rule out one by one. I had a claim after taking balance oil, it causes hand cramp issue. Is it due to healing effect of the oil or is it not suitable for her? Now, hand cramps are a different uh, effect. It could be due to some stress strain in the hand. To look at it even deeper, it could be a mineral imbalance. And I have also noticed this among uh, diabetic patients whose sugar is not fully controlled. When it comes to omega-6, omega-3, no. Uh, I would say this looks more like a coincidence rather than any connection. After taking balance oil, his inherent condition of eczema, dormant for some time, manifested in full-blown symptoms. Should he consider to stop? Now, uh, eczema itself is such a condition that it has its time where it manifests badly, sometimes partly, sometimes the skin is very good. So it's difficult to get the timing. So, however, since the patient customer has taken it and this has happened at the same time, you could ask them to stop for a while, get the eczema under control and restart again. Recommended is 10 ml daily. If you take more than 10 ml, is it a waste? Maybe. <clears throat> if you are below 80 kilos, up to 10 ml is okay. Above that, you need a bit more. Uh, if you are less than 80 kilos, and you want to take more than 10 ml, yes. Uh, some people might use all the, the whole lot. It's like some people eat more, some people eat less, and it applies to the nutrition also. So when you give extra, some people's bodies take it up. Uh, some people's bodies don't use it, and they use it for energy. So uh, something that is expensive, like balance oil, uh, you don't have to need it for energy. 10 ml is fine. Someone with diabetes, is it possible their omega balance can be good? Yes. If they supplement their diet with balance oil, or for that matter, any good omega oil, they can improve their balance. But when we look around, we notice that ours is the only one that helps you to hit three is to one within a reasonable time. We have had customers who have been on other good quality fish oils for years, and the balance is not bad, but not ideal either. Okay. Pregnant lady can take balance oil, should, not uh, must, but should take, because the development of the baby depends quite a lot on DHA that is part of the fish oil. And in the last three months of pregnancy, the demand for DHA goes up very high because the brain of the baby is growing fast. Yes, they should be on uh, balanced oil. My customer has gallbladder problem. He has diarrhea after taking balanced oil. Is this a concern? Possibly. There could be a connection. Now, gallbladder produces bile. Bile is important to digest fat. So what I would suggest for this person is continue with the balanced oil, reduced amount, and take it with food. Or rather, as soon as you finish your meal, take the balanced oil. So when it mixes with food, it is spread out and the body can handle that better. As he gets used to handling better, then you can slowly go up to the recommended serving. I've spoken to a number of customers who are more than 40, 50 years old, 
notice many doctors and actually prescribe omega-3 to them. Ah, can you explain why? Ah, they are these are doctors who probably understand the importance of omega-3 in the health of the cell. So as we, as we get older, the cells are aging, no matter what you take. If you take the good nutrition, including omega-3, it will last as long as it was supposed to be uh, made for. Some of, some of us are made to last 80 years, but we don't take good care and we, we knock off by 60 plus, you see? So <laughs> yes, uh, the rationale is to improve the health of cells, which in turn will improve your tissues and your organs. Diabetics, does it mean that they have inflammation in their pancreas? Inflammation in the pancreas is one cause of diabetes. Okay, only one. The other one is at the cellular level. As we get older, cells become more resistant to insulin. So the pancreas now has to produce more insulin for the same effect. That is going to cause pancreatic exhaustion. Okay. Diabetic is probably one of the diseases like compared to cholesterol and high blood pressure, more easy to control and uh, help the body to recover provided we are willing to take the steps. At the same time, let me say, among the three conditions, diabetes is the most damaging. So it must uh, be tackled aggressively. Now, while we are on the inflammation on pancreas, yes, it does happen. It can happen during childhood. Uh, very rare, but if you have mums, you know, swelling at the side here, uh, mums, mums, the complication can be pancreatic inflammation. Many uh, of these young diabetics who are young, who are in just about in their teens or something like that, they have had some inflammation of pancreas due to some other viral infection. Now, if it has affected the pancreas badly, it would damage the pancreas to the point where it doesn't produce insulin. So diabetics, young diabetics, usually have to go for replacement of insulin, which means injection, but they are rare. If we take more than what is required and uh, say we get the best balance in two months, very good. Now your body has been very hungry and waiting for this product. So it achieves the target even much faster. Excellent. Now we say we'd like to aim for three is to one because that's the middle of the road. If you go up to two is to one and there are some authorities which even say, according to the way our forefathers lived in the wild, one is to one is the best, but that's a small group. Uh, anything less than three is to one is better okay now it doesn't mean you go and pump yourself with balanced oil to get it to that level no three to one you get almost all the benefits yeah uh doctor the question is uh worry uh, because usually you know we do the first test and the second test we there's a four month period right 120 yeah. days let's say you they if they are taking more than required okay uh, will uh -huh. they get balanced faster Let's say within two months, will they get will they get in the trees to one? Yeah, that's the question. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. That's a very reasonable question. Now, somebody, let's say two people, one person, both of them are not well. Now they are recovering. We give them both equally good food. Both will recover. One will recover a little faster than the other person. It simply means that his mechanism is more efficient at repairing or it's in a very favorable condition and it can repair faster. So that part is difficult to uh, forecast and say he will use it better. Therefore, his balance will come faster. Um, even then, some people can't stand one to do in two months, one to know what's going on. That's okay because even if you didn't reach three is to one, 
you can see where it is going. Okay. I have thalassemia. Do I do the test earlier, say 90 days? Wow, that's a very smart question. <laughs> thalassemia, yes, you, you're right, you're right, that's right. Uh, because your RBCs, those who have thalassemia, they are actually uh, having an inherited defect of the red blood cell. And the red blood cell is not normal shape. So it breaks down and the turnover is faster. Okay, yes, that will, uh, we can do it earlier to get to know where you are. Can we take balance oil and velixir together? This is a little expensive, but it will be an ideal combination. Why? Velixir gives you two things which very few other products in the market give you. They give you micro minerals from the deep seabed, which is the original source of micro minerals and antioxidants at about 20,000 ORAC, O-R-A-C units per serving. Now, not all of, it, all of it gets in. Now, some people like to pour it in the cup and drink it slowly. If you pour it into a cup, what happens is the antioxidants get oxidized over a, a couple of minutes. So it's good to take straight from the sachet, okay? Minus all this, you will get more than enough. An average person will need about three to 7,000 ORAC units. Here, the dose is 20,000. Uh, and also, you will get a baseline of all the vitamins that you need. Vitamin A, B, C, D, and E. Yes, the combination is very good. 30 years, vegetarian, lady friend, balance test is 50 is to 1. And this is something that we see very often. Vegetarians, because they don't get omega-3. She was very troubled why she eat healthy vegetarian and the reading is so high, red level. Why? Because the body doesn't uh, produce omega-3. You have to get it from outside and vegetables do not provide you with omega-3. Take another one, for example, cholesterol. If you are a pure vegetarian, there is no cholesterol in the body, in the diet, zero. But if you check their cholesterol, they will have normal cholesterol. Some vegetarians even have high cholesterol because cholesterol is a fat that the body can synthesize. You don't take enough, the body makes it. Unfortunately, omega-6, omega-3, you have to supply from outside. But then vegetarians take a lot of vegetables, so they get enough six. But they don't get any three or very little. So these ratios do not say that a diet is unhealthy. There are two things you must look at the vegetarian diet. One is omega-3. The other one is vitamin B12. So these two, they must supplement from outside. Okay, thank you, doctor, <laughs> for your sharing once again. Time flies when we have we are learning and we are having fun. And I'm sure everyone today has uh, benefited from your tip and advice. Okay, let us give a uh, doctor a round of applause again. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. And thank of you. course, if you like the what doctor has shared earlier, and uh, but have yet you know try taking uh, have not taken our products before, you know talk to the person who invite you to the call. Okay, and start doing your uh, balance test first. Okay, get yourself tested, okay, so that you know where's your position, all right? Then after that, uh, do the, uh, take the balanced oil daily, you know? And then after that, uh, you can continue to take the oil uh, for 120 days and do the second test again, okay? Based on the first and second test that we had gathered so far here in Asia, okay, that's 100% improvement, okay? So you can be actually very confident about uh, the product that we have, which is the balance oil, and um, uh, they can help you to get back your balance and get back your health, okay? So I'm very sure that uh, you will definitely like our Zenzeno product because it tastes very well, tastes very good also. It's uh, not like uh, the normal omega-3 uh, uh, oil, no, no rancid smell, nothing okay so i'm very sure you'll like the, the the taste as well so uh yes and if 
uh, you you can share it with your families and friends. Then of course, when you had four customers, you hate yourself. Zenzino will reward you a free product for your sharing effort. And as your current customer base grows, okay, you can also consider start doing your Zenzino business. Okay, we know that you know mo not everyone can explain the product well. All right, so this is where you can actually leverage on our weekly health talk. And tomorrow at eight forty five p.m. All right, it will be our nutritionist turn. Okay, Miss Julia to speak to you in Mandarin, as she uh she will be talking to everyone about how to actually boost your immunity immunity during this uh, pandemic. So, uh, as we know, you know many countries are facing spikes in, in cases, and by taking our balanced oil and vitamin C, you know it can actually help to improve uh the immune system immune system, all right, and of, and therefore actually reduce the risk. So, you know, tune in tomorrow to find out more, you know, how about how, how the products can actually help you and why everybody should be taking them. And, uh, yeah, and of course, um, they, uh, the, 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 all these products talks, you know, is actually um, really designed for everyone to um, invite your prospect and customers. So, you know, encourage your customers, you know, to attend. Uh, so that they can understand the benefits of actually taking the product daily. All right, this webinar is coming to an end. Okay, so uh, please stay safe, stay healthy in the meantime. All right, I will see you again tomorrow. All right, thank you everyone for your participation and good night.